in this age, it is easy to lose sight of what we have. Family, freedom, peace. Forty years ago, the world, this place, were very different. Not a day passes when I do not think of that time, when I'm not thankful that I am still here. Thankful for them. Why did we fight? We fought so they would not have to. So they would never have to live through the horrors we faced. After capturing Sicily, the Allies prepared to assault mainland Italy. While the Nazis strengthened their defenses in the south, we partisans fought to weaken them and hasten the end of fascist control of our homeland. The town of Pazzano was under attack. We fought to hold the Nazis back and to buy time for my partisan comrades to capture one of their artillery pieces. I needed a rifle. And bullets, too. I moved to the window. The town was already burning. I took a few moments to test the weapon and my aim. Chamber the rifle. Before leaving, I used the radio to send my position to my comrades. Although it seemed hopeless, Dante led from the front rallying us to hold the walls. I had to get to Dante and help him. Before I could reach him, Dante was gone. I would mourn later, but first I had an enemy to
Our leader, my friend, had given his life begging the Allies to send him. We didn't know if it was coming, but for his sake, we hoped and we fought on. Tanks had arrived and we had nothing that could stop them. Our comrades had to capture that artillery gun. Captured artillery, destroyed the tank, and bought us another chance. The Nazi attack had been a reprisal for the death of a senior German officer. The kill ordered by Dante, the fatal bullet fired by me. The Germans knew we were responsible and they struck back without mercy, killing partisans and villagers alike. It was a slaughter. With Dante's death, we'd lost our leader. It would have been easy for us to give up, to lose hope. Instead, we strengthened our resolve. We would need it for what was still to come. This place has so many memories. 